13 years ago, 13 years ago, The Sopranos, which was honestly the last show that I could really say that I really followed intensely week in and week out, you know, besides following you know, your favorite sports uh, team. Uh, but that was like The Sopranos, the last show that every uh, episode, every week was must-see TV. And it ended 13 seasons, uh, 13 years ago today. And the, everyone remembers the, uh, it, I, I think it's safe to say where a lot of people were glued in. You were glued in. You're still talking about the ending 13 years later. I remember watching that ending, and like so many other people, I thought my cable went out. It just stopped. The first thing you, you know, you're hearing, "Don't stop! Uh, don't stop believing." Music is playing, and then all of a sudden, it turns to black. And then a couple of you, you, you question yourself, like, "What happened with the cable?" You're cursing the cable. They, literally, like something out of a movie. You're right there at the cliffhanger. And it just fades to black. You think the cable is out. You run over to the TV, to the back of the TV. But no, you then see the credits rolling. And a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of people were upset with the ending. Some say it's a terrible ending. Ratings were through the roof. Why call it quits? Why not continue? He's all good. Tony Soprano, he's living with Tupac these days. Uh, you know, that song, too. If, yeah. let's, let's stop back to it. You might say the cinematography gives away what happens to Tony. Every scene in the diner shows the table. Then you hear the bell. Then you show Tony. Then you see what happens. You know, is it this kind of, you know, metal struggling to, to, to park the car decently? Takes her forever to get into the diner. And as she's walking towards the door, that's when everything, you know, fades to black that's kind of where it ends if you recall and everything had its uh, it has its place the gentleman at the diner with the members only jacket he went into the bathroom was he coming out of the bathroom and that's when he shot him soprano that's when he shot Tony Soprano that's when it all went dark right before metal comes in did he get whacked did he whack Tony Soprano if you argue if, if Tony was alive then it, the screen would be white it wouldn't go with a black screen or <laughs> or he was facing the door Meadow walked in, he looked up, they greeted, they all had a wonderful dinner, and they went home. You know, or again, was she shot by the guy coming out of the bathroom? Just don't know if he uh, seen... Uh, we just don't know if he's seen his daughter come through the door or not. You never know. Never know. Maybe Tony Soprano is still alive and has hooked back up with his Russian model side action. Whatever it was, it was a brilliant series. It was a brilliant show. Ratings were through the roof. And uh, quite honestly, I am um, pumped up uh, to see the, the Saints of Newark. Now, 
you know, David Chase is in charge of that film as well. It was supposed to come out 2020. Now I think they pushed it back to March uh, 2021. Um, listen, a very interesting pick. And I think, you know, Tony Soprano, young Tony Soprano, is being played by his son. Now, his son really does not have much of or hardly any acting experience. I think he was in the deuces. But he could be the perfect candidate. Who better to play Tony Soprano than his son, who could know all the mannerisms of his father without even... You know, it's natural. He was around his father all the time, so he's seen his mannerisms. It's interesting to note too is he never, he never really watched the show. He didn't, he didn't watch the show really at all, not one episode, until after his father passed away. So he just kind of studied that show night in and night out after his father passed away uh, and he said it was very intense uh, so I'm looking forward to the Saints of Newark just you know the Sopranos 13 years ago wow I don't think anything comes close honestly my opinion comes close to touching the Sopranos as far as keeping your interest week in and week out so I hope all is well and we'll speak soon